Three years ago, we began a unique project, following six talented teenagers from across the UK to chart the challenges they face coming from low-income backgrounds as they go through the school years that will determine their futures. Students from these type of backgrounds find it very difficult to fulfil their potential. to be obsessed with wearing fedoras. That was a sad, sad time. Whenever I get bored and I'm not in the mood to do anything, I'll just sit there and read a book. I'm Keen. I'm 15. I live in Hartlepool with my mum, dad, and sister. Is that the last one? It's too big. My favourite subjects at school are physics, chemistry, and maths. Year 11 is an important year for me because I want to become a theoretical physicist. A lot of people actually know what a theoretical physicist is because they've watched The Big Bang Theory. And everyone goes to me, oh, so you want to be like Sheldon? I'm like, no, I don't want to be like Sheldon. I want to be like me, but I want to be a physicist. I didn't get inspired from the Big Bang Theory, is my point. Hello, Kian. Take a seat. Where do you want to sit? Since the last time we met, I've done some research, and there's so little out there about theoretical physicists. I can't even say the word properly. On Google, it came up with um, how to become one. It takes about six years. You need to be a successful graduate with a PhD in physics. So the maths and the physics are mm -hmm. the ones that are important to a theoretical physicist. Yeah. Have you looked at East Durham College? It's about an hour away. It's very small class sizes. I feel like, like for a place to start, you want it to be close to home, don't you? Like for where you start. It's a bus journey. If you're going to go down this route, you're potentially not going to be working in Hartlepool. I think it's very brave and I think it's exactly the right thing to do to explore what is outside of Hartlepool. It might be easier for students who come from more affluent backgrounds because potentially they had parents that went to university. In Kian's family, he'll be the first one, so it's the first step on that journey. Kian lives on the Hartlepool headland. Today, he's making the hour-long bus journey to see the sixth form college he discussed with his career's advisor. Hiya. Yeah. Yeah, what's your name? Kian Milburn. Right, so again, we're going to discuss why you're here, don't you, in the existential sense, but why theoretical physics? Uh, GCSE normal physics bored me, so I just sort of went to my teacher and was just like, is there anything else that I can sort of just look into? He sort of started talking to me about certain areas of particle physics and how somewhere down in London, they managed to create absolute zero and they managed to develop dark matter from radioactive gold isotope. But uh, that just really invested my interest. You're a very high <laughs> academic department. We have our wonderful PGCE student here who is a doctor of theoretical uh, particle physics. Yes, correct. Yeah, so I would imagine you two would be very, very keen to talk to me. <laughs> yeah. What I, saw, I saw you kind of like, oh, look at that. Oh. I just really enjoyed the atmosphere. The place seemed so lively, everyone seemed happy there. The teachers seemed to enjoy what they were doing. And they seemed to know what we were talking about, which is always a good sign. Pretty much the only ones that I had any interest in were Brink Band Stockton. But East Durham's better than both, so. So if you go into a college that's got an excellent pass rate, you're getting the best chance to succeed. That's the difference between me and you. I didn't want to go to college because I hated school. You've got your head screwed on right, you know what you want and you know what you have to do to get it. 
I didn't. I always thought I was going to be a docker like the old man. If I end up with a low-paid factory job, I'm giving you this knowledge. I screwed up. Don't do what I did. And Dad says to me, I, I should take advantage of everything I get, because he didn't. And coming from him, it's basically, don't make my mistakes. It's the culmination of five years at secondary school and time for the boys to discover their fate. 700,000 teenagers will get their GCSE results today. Head teachers have warned tougher exams have left some students feeling demoralised. Good luck, Ian. Yeah. So what do these equivocate to? Uh, four is a low C, five is a high C, six is a B, seven onwards, A, A star, blah, blah. All oh, right, so you've got two sixes. <laughs> Kean has improved on his start of school predictions and his mock grade to get the six he needs to study physics at the college outside town. You deserve it. Really do. Yeah, I'm over the moon for you. Really am. He's got all these grades that he needs for his college, so he's done very well. <laughs> oh, you got the cuddle. Really? You got the cuddle off the sister. Oh, he'll never live it though. The future does scare me, yes. But have you ever been in the dark and you're walking through like a forest or something? And it you're just really excited to find out what's on the other side. You're terrified, but you're bloody excited. And that's just the way I feel.